Hello and welcome back. Today is Friday, March 1st. This is March. We made it. This is the basketball mecca month. March Madness all month. NBA playoff push. Cannot wait for this action. As always, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Let's me know you like the content. I have my four best bets for you in the NBA tonight. Two player prop plays and two same game parlays that I absolutely love here tonight. Before we jump into today's action, we have to recap yesterday's best bets. Yesterday in the NBA, we ended up going 3-1 in best bets. 3-0, the one loss we had was the risk-free bet. We came up a Jokic and uh, a Jimmy Butler assist shy for clean sweep on the day. Hate to see it. Jokic finished with 18. Jimmy finished with three assists. Cannot believe it. Speaking of Jimmy Butler, we took his rebounds assist. He's been a cash cow for us post-All-Star break here on that end. He absolutely pulled through. We had over 9.5. He finished with 10. Then we had Steph Curry over points. Him at the Garden. He bounced back after a shooting slump. We took those few shooting slump games, and he cashed for us last night on his over points. And then Victor Wembenyama. Him versus Chet is that next matchup. Every time they play each other, I feel like it's an auto. Must take his points total over. That's enough about yesterday's best bet. Today's a new day. New month. This is March we got to jump into it for my first best bet in the NBA tonight. Going with the marvelous DeRozan. Over 22.5 points coming in at minus 135 on DraftKings. Let's dive into it. DeMario's gotten his over nine of his last ten games. They're still disrespecting him on this line at 22.5. Like, come on here. He's been balling out since Zach Levine has been injured. He's gotten this over one for his last two games versus the Bucs here. Averaged 26 points this season. So he had a crazy game of 40-plus points. Then he had a game of 11-plus points. So in between. Tomorrow's got this over four of his last five games at home with some rest here. He's played a few home games in a row here. I think DeMar is going to continue to get, get these over. He has a 60% hit rate on the season at home. Over 22.5 points. Smash play. He's got this over three of his last four games versus the Bucs without Zach Levine. Averaging 31.8 points, so a whole 10 points higher than what his projected total here is. Absolutely love it. I tweeted out earlier, so please make sure to follow my Twitter down below. You saw it if I posted earlier than right now, but I love over 22.5. Kind of love over 23.5 as well. I think he could finish with 25-plus points here in this matchup. For my second best bet and for my first same-game parlay, it's going to be on that first primetime game. It's going to be a Luka Tatum special using my DraftKings 50% profit boost on this. You get their two plays here for plus 200 odds. Let's dive into it. We're going with Luka Doncic, 30 plus points. He has been a monster all season, hitting this 74% of the time this season at 30 plus points. Uh, he's gotten this over three of his last four games, three of his last five. He's gotten this over three of his last five games versus the Celtics, averaging 31.4 points per game. He's gotten this over seven of his last 10 games. Averaging 32.7 points. We just need 30 for you, Luca. Uh, absolutely like this spot here overall for him. It should be a fun game to watch on primetime. Then Jason Tatum, 25 plus points here. He's gotten this over six of his last 10 games here. But it seems like when he plays in these primetime matchups or against another superstar, he turns up the volume here. He's gotten this over four of his last five games against the Mavs, averaging 31.6 points per game. He also has a 60% hit rate on the season on this over. Absolutely love it. With two days rest, Tatum has gotten this over four of his last five games, averaging 27.8 points per game. High over under, primetime matchup, big time players, big time games. Absolutely love this same game parlay. Plus 200 odds. Come on. It seems free. Love it overall. For my third best bet and for my final player prop play, We've been taking him post-All-Star break here. He's been on a run these last five games, and I've been glad to be a part of it. Going back to him, De'Aaron Fox. Over 24.5 points coming in at minus 120 on DraftKings. They still disrespect the line. Let's dive into it. Fox has gotten this over five of his last five games, averaging 31.6 points per game. He has been balling for us. He's gotten this over nine for his last nine games against the Wolves. Averaging 29.1 points per game. He has been a monster against this Timberwolves team. Him and Sabonis running that pick and roll. He's going to have a field day in the lane. He's gotten this over 65% uh, of the time on the season. He's gotten the, on the road this season. He's averaging 27.6 points per game. Absolutely love this spot here. That's the, the line is still too low for De'Aaron Fox. Can't wait for them to finally catch on and put it like to 26.5. But right now at 24.5, 
I absolutely love this spot here. For my fourth best bet and for my last same game parlay, I got to do one for the Bucks bulls matchup. It's on prime time, so hey, got to have a play. I'm going to be using my FanDuel 25% profit boost here. So it's going to be four plus plays for plus 500 odds. Let's look into it. Going for the first leg, Giannis, 30 plus points. He's gotten this over five of his last 10 games, only averaging 27.1 points. But why I love this spot here, he's gotten this over four of his last five road games, averaging 31.2 points per game. Against the Bulls, he's gotten this over four of his last five. I'm not counting the game. He left after nine minutes after being injured, so that one's out. But this is four of his last five games when he plays 25 plus minutes per game, averaging 34.8 points per game. For the second leg here, oh, and he's gotten this over six of his last eight games versus the Bulls. He's dominated the Bulls here. And he's looking for revenge in this matchup here. Going to be go Dame Lillard, two plus threes. He's got this over nine of his last 10 games, averaging 2.8 threes made per game. He's got this over three of his last five versus the Bulls, averaging 2.4 threes per game. And the Bulls give up the seventh most threes to the point guard position. So Dame time, we just need two threes from you. And he's gotten this over nine of his last 10 games overall. So should be fairly easy for Dame. So watch that be the one leg that is most sweat. Then we're going with DeMar DeRozan. Love his point total earlier on. We're going to him 25 plus points. He's going to be DeMarvelous for us. He's gotten this over three of his last five games versus the Bucks, averaging 27.6 points per game. He's gotten this over six of his last 10 games, averaging 27.1 points. He's gotten this over three of his last four games without Zach Levine average, against the Bucks, averaging 31.8 points here. It's going to be a it's going to be a Giannis and a DeMar matchup overall. And then for the fourth leg, we're going to go Vooch 15 plus points here. He's been an absolute monster these last 10, 10 games, averaging 22 points per game, getting this over nine of his last 10. He's gotten this over four of his last five versus the Bucks, averaging 22.4 points. Absolutely love this same game parlay. Four plus plays for plus 534 odds on FanDuel. Those are my four best bets for you in the NBA tonight. As always, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Let's me know you like the content. Hey, let me know down below what's your best bet. We could start a community play of the day where we all ride and we all cash together. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Hopefully you could have time for yourself and watch these NBA games. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.